Hey guys, welcome to more Let's Play Two Rear Three. Today we are doing Bartolio's Hideout in Venice still. And uh, uh. that's for you. <laughs> that was a bit gross, but well. Um Yeah, Bartolio's Hideout. Uh it's a pretty cool level actually. I actually enjoyed this level. Um it's very cool. And we actually do get a new weapon in this uh level. So that makes it extra cool. Um, but there is a lot of human enemies in it, much more than Venice, and it can be very tricky at times. Um, so you want to watch out for that. Like this bastard here, who thinks he can rape me. No raping, how dare you. He is a bastard. Right. <coughs> well, Master Playthrough mm -hmm. would call him a chav, but, uh, oh well. Let's go. Oh, okay. Fine, Lara, fail. Oh, there's another chavy rat. Go away. <laughs> so, yeah, come in here and just pull the lever and open up the big doors at the beginning. This is actually Bartolio's hideout. Um, for any of you guys who don't know who Bartolio is, um, he is just basically, without going into too much detail, He's basically a chav. He's the ultimate chav, the ultimate chavness, okay? Basically the ultimate chav, I don't understand. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, drop something. Uh, but he, he's, oh yeah, he is also after the Dagger of Zion. Um, but Lara's just in it for the money, because you know how Lara is. Total whorebag. Um, I suggest staying here and shooting the guy up there because if you go any further, you'll actually activate um, some more guys, and you don't really want many swarming at you at one time. Um, okay, fine. But there are dogs here. Bitch dogs. Oh my god, they give me, they lose so much. We lose so much health. Seriously. Um. Right, here is a large mate pack, uh, some flares, mm -hmm. and some, um, magnum ammo. Right, um, okay. Actually, I'm going to save here, because, uh, this doesn't look too good, does it? Whoa. Uh, save. Yeah, um, I don't know, I don't know if, did I mention in Venice that, um, the Resident Evil Chronicle games were coming out on the PlayStation. I don't know, but they are. Um, it's coming out in June. Um, I don't think there's been a, like an actual um, a, like a date for them, like the 13th or something. Yeah, it's my birthday. Um, oh, that hurt. Sort of. Um, but yeah, they're coming out for the PlayStation um, HD. So yeah, it's gonna be cool. And now them. Annoying bastards are actually stopped, so yeah. Um, so we can just throw that away. We don't need that anymore. And uh, come over here. I want to heal because I don't feel safe with that much health. Just in case I fall, because that could be the end, Flora. Ah, yes. Hi there. Oh, hi, Lara. Lara, what are you doing? Lara's going absolutely insane. Lara, you're crazy, mofo. Die, 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 die. Um, okay, drop some stuff. Uh, -huh. uh right. Okay, so what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to do is, uh, is jump backwards on here. Jump and grab, like that. And you can actually just, um, I'll show you in just a second what you can do. Which is sort of cool for speedrunning. Um, yeah, I'll just show you in just a second after pushing this block. And also, instead of actually have to re um, pressing the X button or the action button, um, you can actually just hold it down now and uh, keep pressing forward, and Lara will um, continue. No, that's a bad idea. Um, Lara will continue to uh, pull the block. So yeah, push, push or pull the block. Block. So that's good. Another feature of Tomb Raider 2. Uh, I think this guy dropped something. Uh, yeah, he did. Magnum ammo. Okay. Um, cool. Can I run and jump that? I don't know. I'm not going to try though, just in case. Um, but yeah, let's go across. Dun, dun, dun. 
Lara's still slow as ever, by the way. She hasn't sped up. Actually, saying that, she's a lot faster runner in this game. Um, in Tarina 1, she's very, very slow. Um, she's actually faster in this game. And uh, it's a lot better, actually. You can get a, do a lot more, a lot quicker. So, yeah. Uh, we want to run and jump onto these. But watch out, because these are slidey ones. So, yeah, you want to just grip and uh, shim. My dog just made this really weird noise. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, they're slidey ones, so you want to grab. And uh, you can actually jump back now, here. So you want to do that. Awesome. Um, okay. Wow! That failed, didn't it? Um, how embarrassing. Right, let's go back. Oh, no. But this is actually um, a good point, because I'll be able to show you the, uh, like, speedrunning thing. Um, I showed you the proper way. That was a fail. I didn't, yeah, I was rushing it. That teaches me for rushing stuff. Um, but if you stand, like... Here, um, I think it's like there. You can actually grab and uh, pull yourself up. So it's a lot quicker. Um, but obviously, if you do it faster than me, it's speed runny. So yeah, um, that was a speed run um, little technique thing. But I, I'm gonna actually show you a glitch that I actually found out um, on this level. Um, completely accidental, but I can actually perform the glitch. Um, why am I being shot at? What the F? No, don't shoot at me. I'm innocent. Oh, that was close. Um, I don't understand why there was someone shooting at me, but oh well. Um, yeah, there's this glitch, and it sort of, like, skips most of the level. So, uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, quite useful for speedrunners, but, um... I will show you, but I'll save beforehand so I can reload my save. So we're gonna walk here, not be greedy and fast. Okay. <coughs> this is actually a pretty tricky jump to perform right here. No! Oh, fuck, I nearly pressed the jump button there. She could have gone over the edge. But, uh, yeah. This is a pretty tricky jump to perform. Um, you have to get down there, but Lara might bang her head. So I'm actually going to save here once again, just in case of that. So, yeah. Wow, eight minutes already? Seriously? I'm so glad I can upload part 15 minutes now. Um, I'm gonna jump and grab. Jumping, grabbing stops her from banging her head. So yeah, that's useful. Dead doggy. I feel really bad killing the dogs in this game because I love dogs. Where is the first secret? Uh, yeah, I know where the first secret is. Um, there's stuff. Why? Whoa, that guy just glitched out. Uh, did this green glass drop you anything? Of course not. Of course he didn't. Um, nicely camouflaged over here is actually a lever, so yeah, pull the lever. And this will open up a somewhat non secret door. Holy! Hi there! Uh, apparently no one doesn't want to look at you because you're so ugly. Um, oh, another medipack has to be used. Okay, fine. We'll get more, don't worry. Um, I haven't even used any of my good guns yet. Well, sh except my shotgun. Uh, talk about shotgun. How many bullets do I have for that right now? Uh-huh. Meh. Okay. I'll use that in just a minute. Um, in the next part. Uh, oh, there you are. My beauty stone dragon. Um, just a little uh -huh. thing. Um, yes, there are stone, gold, and jade dragons. Um, and there is three secrets in every single level in this game. So yeah, because obviously it's like you know. I love flipping over their head. It's so entertaining. Um, is this the glitch part? Not sure. Um, I'm not honestly not sure. But I'm going to save before I attempt something, because I don't want to like muck the level up. So I'm going to save once again. Um, okay, if you... Here, I'll wait for this save so I can demonstrate. If you approach this side of the gate, um, and kind of do like a roll, you can glitch into the later level. Um, but yeah, that's like... 
but I it's you don't really use that because there's a much quicker way of actually getting to the closer to the end of the level. Um but um yeah, so we we don't really need that. And I think that's an option uh, optional area as well. Um I'm not sure. But um we kind of landed like right next to the Uzis, but you didn't really see them because they're on the opposite opposite side of that brick wall. Um but you guys will see that later on when I go there. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy dropped something. Nice. Right. Uh -huh. Uzis are my babies. I think everyone loves the Uzis in this game. Okay. Uh, coming in this room, we'll uh, spawn two gangsters or chavs and uh, a dog. So yeah, that's why I got my shotgun out. And of course, not, they didn't drop anything. Because they're stingy, like I said. <coughs> nice leopard print um, wallpaper, by the way. Personally, wouldn't choose that, but um, if that's what um, float Bartolio's boat, then uh, hey, nice alliteration right there. Then it can go ahead and have um, leopard print. But um, personally, not for me. Not a leopard print person, because that's a bit gay. Oh well. Um, not knocking you if you like leopard print. If you like leopard print, then you can go for leopard print. Um, okay, this is actually timed. Um, so yeah, you want to do this quickly. Um, that always gives me trouble, um, which it really shouldn't. But uh, oh well. Come on, Lara. Ah, rape. Run. Nice, safe spot. Yeah, um, that fire puzzle like, always gives me trouble, um, but what you have to do is just kind of like, do what I did basically, um, I'm surprised I actually pulled that off, um, but oh well. Right, uh, very Tomb Raider logic in this game, um, Lara is apparently thinner than, well, uh, um, like, what do you call it, heavy? No, I'm not as heavy as a, what the fuck Lara, what are you doing? crazy bitch. Why did you fall down? Uh, apparently, um, Lara can stand on chandeliers, which is kind of strange, but, uh, oh well. So, yeah. Do I do a running jump or stand? Oh, wait, I can't get that, can I? I don't want to die, so I'm going to save again. I know, keep chicken shitting out. But, oh well. Um, yeah, apparently La Lara is, uh, can stand on chandeliers. Um, I don't think that's true, though, Lara. Maybe Lara's on like drugs or something, or maybe actually Lara's just dreaming this whole adventure. Maybe there is no dagger of Zion after all. But um, I don't know. I don't know what that ap what happened. Wait, because I kind of accidentally skipped the cutscene. But we'll, we'll find out. Uh, okay, I know I had to do this level anyway, so it's fine. It's all good, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. And this, I'm gonna let. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk now and just let this music play because I like it. So shh. Okay, so that was that uh, um, sort of, well that was a Tomb Raider th um, theme, but I kind of had like a, I don't know, was that a guitar? Well, yeah, I think it was. Well, I'm, I'm not very music-y, okay, so don't judge me. Um, this is a kind of tricky jump to make. Um, I don't want to be in right to the edge, but the roof is sort of like down, so once again, save. Yeah, I really like that music, so that's why I was quiet, so you guys could actually hear it over me speaking. Um, if, you, if you couldn't hear it, just turn your volume up. Uh, yeah, so let's go. Uh, roll, because it's quite a high jump. So yeah, roll is actually quite useful. Um, let me equip my shotgun there again. 
Um, because it does actually stop you from taking, um, damage from falling. And if I fell off then, that would be really bad. Um, nice medipack. Awesome. I need to go up here. Uh -huh. And quickly go back to my, uh, pistols again, just in case, because I don't want to waste any, um, shotgun ammo, like rats or something stupid like that. Uh, so yeah. Oh, pardon me. Just burped again. Um, okay, that has actually changed uh, the layout of this room. Um, so we actually get access to a key. Um, but I'll show you what that's actually done. Um, okay. That has made the uh, chandeliers go the opposite, like, wait, not wait, sorry, uh, what am I on about? Like, basically, the short ones now gone tall, and the tall ones now gone short, so yeah. And this allows us to get inside the portrait um, to actually collect a key we need to continue with this level. Um, we're on 16 minutes, okay. So it's in here. Awesome. Um, we need to. Uh, I can't remember what we need to do now. Ah, shit. Okay, we need to get back on the uh, chandelier, uh -huh. I believe. <gasps> Hang on, can we do it? Can <gasps> Oh no, core design! Oh, oh, can I do it? No, no, no. Walk forward a little bit, Lara. Okay, hang on. Come on. Right, go back. Come on. Ah, it's been mean. Semi boob angle. Oh well. Better luck, better luck next time. Okay, so we actually need to get back on the chandelier again. Um. So we need to go back to where we um, load that. I don't know what actually that did. Um, I'm not sure. I think it opened an air hole for later on. Um, that's very useful, by the way, because you, if you don't open that, you may take damage. Uh, so yeah, that's very useful. Uh, I think we can jump across here. Yeah, there we go. Right, do not jump through the window. Make sure you shoot it because you will fall out the other side. And walk cautiously. Um, um, don't fall down here because you may get a set of light. You want to do a safety drop down here. And fall straight into the water. <coughs> Shut up, Lara. No one cares about your falling needs, okay? Seriously. Stop moaning all the time. Okay, that opened a door. Um... Did we get the first secret? I hope we did. Wait, where's my stopwatch? There's the stopwatch, there we go. Yeah, I did get the first secret, good. Right, uh, take a deep breath because you're going to need it. Light a flare and uh, follow where I go. So after coming through, um, pulling the lever, basically just follow this pissy passage. Okay, nice alliteration. And uh, over here is some uh, grenade ammo. And in the opposite corner, there is the golden dragon. There we go. If you just go up, uh, ah, wait, no, go down. Go down. Well, you actually forget that. We don't need to go there. That's just an optional air hole to unlock. I honestly don't know what that um, thing did, and Lara's gonna drown because she's acting like an absolute spastic right now. Um, Lara, please don't now like a uh, annoying person. Yes, we know you need air, Lara. Stop glitching and then maybe I'll actually be able to get you some. Right, okay. Right. Use the key here, the library key. Run 19, okay. Whoa. I hope none of you guys actually have epilepsy because that could have, like, not my fault. <laughs> oh, hello. Right, there we go. Uh, This is optional. We can we can go here if we want to. We don't uh -huh. have to though. And uh, we need to get up there. But uh, is there anything around this corner? As you can see, um, if we go up to the bookcases, Lara can't. Lara isn't tall enough. But these bookcases we can actually climb. So yeah. Ignore the dumb rats because they'll just peck you to death. Well, rats don't peck. They kind of like. 
you to death, but uh, oh well. Oh, creepy noises. I don't like it. Draw your guns, because it's another guy. Ah, uh, where'd he go? I don't like when they run away. There we go. Healing once again. Yay, fun times. Right, um... Did he drop anything? Of course he didn't, Lara, you're so silly. Why are these so stingy? I'm such a poor person, I need money. You keep telling yourself that, Lara. Right, okay. We need to climb all the way to this bookcase. Well, not really all the way. Well, yeah, kind of all the way, but um, oh well. Um. Okay, we need to jump to the other side. And then we want to go up here. I've actually noticed um, something in my LPs, guys. Um, I'm sort of like not talking about what's happening in my life right now. So uh, I'm kind of like keeping my um, LPs very p professional. But um, I'm going to actually talk about what's happening in my life. And uh, what's happening in my life right now? Um, actually, nothing special. Um, I'm just sort of like waiting. I'm kind of waiting for my exams. Um, but I'm really, like, I can't wait until I start college because I'm getting so bored of my school and I just want something new um, and exciting. So, yeah. Um, so, just sort of waiting. But actually, next week, um, Operation Raccoon City comes out and I am so excited for that game because not only um, have I pre-ordered it, um, I'm actually, um, well, as long as my game, my copy of the game gets here, I'm actually the fourth person um, in the co-op LP that Master Playthrough is organising. Um, so yeah, I'm the fourth person that he kept a secret in his, in, um, his last part of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, Claire A. Um, I am the secret person, um, but that is as long as um, my copy of the game gets here. Because recently Amazon uh -huh. have um, been, like, they have been sending it, but they've been sort of, like, really naughty. Um, they're all uh -huh. naughty. Um, but I've pre-ordered stuff, and they've sort of, like, not sent it. Like, it's not arrived at my house until a few days after the release date, which is sort of annoying. Because I've, I've, um... I pre-ordered Operation Raccoon City like a few months in advance and it's sort of annoying. Um, bye. Die, bitch. Yeah. You dropped me in my pack, bitch. Well, we actually need to go... Um, wait, can I come... No, I can't. Uh -huh. Hey, can I come? <laughs> we, uh, I need to go back up here to get the Uzis. I kind of forgot the Uzis. Well, I'll get them and stop the video because we're going on to like 25 minutes nearly. But yes, I am so excited to actually be a part of the Co-op LP. Um, and it's quite... A, I'm, I need to thank Master Playthrough for actually letting me be a part of it. Um, let's just hope Amazon doesn't fuck me over and actually does send me my copy of the game. Because the Co-op LP is starting on the 26th. And the game comes out on the 23rd, so that gives us a few days to actually um, practice the game a little. And that actually gives me um, time to actually start my single player. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to leave the video here, guys. I'll continue in just a second. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, Lara, you silly woman.